Hello, Kat. Hello. So, Kat, you're going to do some addition with me today, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to give you a number sentence and it's going to be 23 add 12. Write that down for me. And what do I would like you to write above your number? Tens and ones. Off you go then. The first way that we're going to show how we can add these up is by using our beans. Could you try that for me? Can you count those for me? Ten. 20, 1, 2, 3. Good. And then what are you going to put next? The 12. And can you count those for me? 10, 11, 12. Good girl. And now what are you going to do? I'm going to put them together. Off you go then. 1, 2, 3. Excellent, well done. So when you're really confident using the Deans, we can draw the Deans, can't we? Could you try doing it with the Deans drawing them? Did you count what you've just drawn all together? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Brilliant. Now what are you going to do next? I'm going to put my 12 underneath. Can you count that for me? 10, 11, 12. Brilliant. And now what are you going to do? I'm going to put them together. Good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three. And have you got the same answer? Yeah. Brilliant. So when you're really confident using the Deans, you can move on to drawing the Deans. And then if you're really confident drawing the Deans, what could you do now? I could use the numbers. You could use the numbers, but in the column method. Would you like to show me that? Make sure we put on there as well. What symbol? The air. Good girl. And we always start with the one. Good. Off you go then. Three, four, five. Two, three. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kat. So you've shown us the three different ways that we learn to add up in year two. Brilliant. Would you like to say goodbye, Kat? Bye.